And all right, all right, all right. We are live. Welcome back to the Pain Chasing Mark and Eddie show, except that we have two sick outs today. Very, very <laughs> last minute, about an hour ago, our buddy Chasing and our buddy Eddie is like, yo, we are so sorry. Last minute, like one after the other, like we can't make it. Totally sorry. And I'm like, much darn it, because then everyone gets to see me fuck up all the buttons like I usually do when I do a live stream, because y'all know my dumbass. Uh, likes to uh, wing it. So, but anyway, welcome everybody. Uh, I want to thank our buddy Marco Sear from Collector Zone for hosting this special, special weekend event. Now, look, guys, this is something really special this weekend because, you know, if you're a member of the Collector Zone Cantina, you know, Marcos gives out those coats like every month or so. And it's usually like the first four people or something get the 17% or anything. Like this, this dude is hooking it up this weekend, July 1 to 5th. He is giving us this code, and it's going to be last for, you can use it more than once, and it goes for all five days, and he's doing a giveaway on July 5th, uh, that he's going to announce on July 5th. So there is a post on the Collector Zone Cantina where you go to enter. Now, so to to enter and to, get, and to use the code is really simple, guys. I'm going to need you to definitely 100% subscribe or join the Cantina Facebook group. Now, you can subscribe to this channel if you want. If you're not already subscribed, I would appreciate if you don't, whatever. You should. Uh, you um, should. But definitely join the cantina because it's really nice of him to he, – look, look, he doesn't need to do any of this shit. He does not at all. And he's doing it, you know, just to be nice. And it's 4th of July special, so it's an event. So just, you know, I'm appreciative, so I hope you guys are too. But um, welcome, Marcos, the man of the hour, our guest of honor. And uh, – our buddy, Mr. Mark B, Mr. Unretired. How you doing? Doing good, man. It was a long week. It's good to hang out with you guys. Right on, right on. Marcos, how are you feeling tonight, sir? Good, good. I made it. I made it. I know you, you guys thought I was late, but I was there. I'm there. I was <laughs> yeah, I just no, couldn't my, talk to you. No, nah, my bad, my bad. I wasn't looking at the <laughs> at the uh, con control panel at the bottom. Didn't see your face. And then our buddy, Art, who woke up extra early again. Thank you, bro. It's... Uh, Yes, yes, it is, uh, what, it's 9 a.m. in Bangkok, 10 a.m. in Singapore, wow. 10 p.m. here in the United States on the Eastern Seaboard, and 7 p.m. for those of you out on the West Coast. So, anyway, uh, without further ado, thank you all for being here, and let's uh, let's check this. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's say hi into the chat real quick. Uh, let's see. We've got our buddy Edwin. Thank you for being here. Uh, Alan, thank you for being here. Uh, la 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 la. We've got Tim Martin. We've got Critical Mass. We've got Bane 21, Collector Zone. We've got Aiden. What's up, Aiden? Walton Chucky. Uh, our buddy Mark Manning the Fort. Uh, Mark is going to be the one that deletes any porno comments that we see in the live chat today. Because <laughs> apparently the bots have been attacking all the streams. I don't know why. So uh, we've got a good quorum. So we're going to, I'm going to do this, guys. Uh, for everyone who has been subscribed, thank you. Uh, we are going to run, um, we're going to run the code real quick. We're going to, we're going to play it multiple times during the show so that you have it. And then you can also watch the replay to get the code. Again, this is for 17% off, 17% off anything you want to get at Collector Zone for the weekend. Um, Nice. So there you go. There you go. So, you know, uh, a little gift back to the collectors and to the community. Thank you all. Uh, Art, how are you doing, brother? Good. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> nice. That was a very nice, <laughs> totally one word comment. But OK, I guess you're good. Hey, fuck yeah. you, too. <laughs> oh, my God. My eyes are fucking up. All right. All right. Let's see if I can, like run this show without like completely royally screwing us up oh my buddy webster webster is here what's going on brother uh from the philippines thank you my anime friend uh all right so before we before we get into interviewing the man of the hour uh let's go through our the damage that we did this week Uh, see, I already fucked it up because I was supposed to switch to the uh, 
to the share screen. <laughs> <laughs> and I totally did not do that. I was supposed to, was supposed to do the share screen during the transition. Um, I love the show. Well, so now great. I'm like, yeah. that's now why like, people tune in, Payne. We love seeing you squirm and fuck what up. What the fuck? Yeah. We're up at the share screen. Because, okay. First, why am I sharing? No, I don't want to share slides. Son of a bitch. All right. All right. Here, I think. All right. All right. Fuck me. Fuck, er, fuck this. You fuck go. you. Fuck everyone. Fuck me. God damn it. Son of a fuck. All right. Okay. Uh, God damn, dude. <laughs> I know, bro. I know. I know. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a train wreck of a show. It's gonna be a train wreck because uh, I'm really apparently good at this. All right. Let me let me take that code off so that I don't don't block our man's face with it there. Um. All right. So damage wise, um, we can start with me. Uh, I I picked up Rodimus. Uh, while it came in this this during this uh, two week period, um, and I got it because you know R Rodimus. I actually. I had it on my list at one point, and then I actually decided I wasn't going to get it. Uh, and then, and then I randomly found that XM Optimus. And after I found XM Optimus, I was like, "Oh, fudge, darn it!" And uh, so I backtracked and I got Rodimus. And I'm very happy to have them both uh, sitting in the corner over there. Um, they look really good together. Um, and then uh, another pickup that I got, I got from our our main man Marcos himself. I finally got the DX version of uh, Attack, Attack on, on Titans. Titans. Yeah, nice. yeah, man. Yeah, I Welcome. have been. Yeah, all right, you got this like a, a while back, right? Yeah, um, day one, bro. I know. <laughs> I, I love this thing. It took me a while to kind of get my shit together, but I love this thing. I am so excited to get this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I mean, I knew I wanted it. I just needed to move some things around. So this is. I'm. I'm very happy. And then um, moving on from me, uh, our buddy Mark got in something new today. He got um, the, the XM Iron... Mark 7. Mark 7, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mark, tell us about this piece. I think it's like, isn't it like four or five years old at this point? So it's like, I guess it's old news to most, but uh, new to me or new to the collection at least. I really like it. I was weighing my options with uh, Iron Man out there <clears throat> all the options queen sideshow xm but uh i fell on this one it just ticks the boxes for me um i just well, love everything about it the paint the arc reactor the sculpt um yeah i love it man i just unboxed it uh earlier this afternoon actually nice. uh, maybe it was maybe it was art and his uh iron man themed or uh war tank themed um <laughs> unboxing he did the other day that kind of got me in that mindset but yeah i've been looking for one for a while so hey congratulations man looks great thank yeah, you yeah yeah um our buddy uh eddie uh called out sick but he brought in the lord of the rings or he really? PO'd it i think well i think he PO'd it i think that's what it was he ordered um he ordered aragon uh oh. it's a really Cool looking piece. Uh, apparently, people who have it and have seen the head sculpt are like, "Yeah, don't worry about the production pictures. This thing is dope in hand." So, congratulations to our buddy Eddie because I mean, I think this is awesome. I think it's fine. Um, my wife is a bigger Lord of the Rings fan than I am, so I'm glad I'm not getting it because uh, I don't need to be adding crap to my. Are my you sure it's not a Lord of the Cock Ring for her? <laughs> <laughs> I love art, man. Uh, you know, bro. Maybe, man. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> might be. Um, and then, how about the art? Uh, is that new for you this week? Yep. Oh, it was day shit. one again. Yep. Got these on PO. Oh and... yeah. Yeah, that that is dope, man. I mean, look at that shit. Yeah, I'm so um, glad that they actually, you know, added the right arm for it. But now I just hope that they can actually, you know, remove the shield if you don't want to. That would yeah. be better oh. because some sometimes, like right at the front angle, you can't see it, like though any anything behind it. You know, that's the only thing. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be like stuck to the arm, or I mean, it would make sense if they took the shield off. Right, um, but, but but even though I I like everything about this except that base, man. I, I don't know why it's so high up. <laughs> it looks yeah. so odd. 
But when you have the shield on, it's going to cover it. You're not really going to see it if you turn it. Yeah, anyway, that's that, that's the thing, though. I don't want it to be covered up that much, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, that's cool. And then uh, did you also, did you not have this before? No. Uh, I oh, was okay. con contemplating whether to get this or the Queen Studio one. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I made up my mind to go with this and... My guy is coming with it tomorrow. Just he's gonna check it first because the uh, shipper box was all ruined. You know what I mean? Okay. So uh, I gotta see whether the inside box is okay, no damages and anything. Then we're gonna unbox it. You getting it from Toys King again? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. The distributor. Oh, the distributor. Door. Okay, cool. Yep. And then this is this is new. Yeah, I just did a review of this. Yeah. Um, great piece. Yeah, what do you think of it, man? Because I've almost bought this thing oh, like three or four shit times. It's great, man. If you uh, if you think the Civil War one is good, this one I think is better. Okay. The the only downfall about this and the Civil War, I think the base is a uh, little lack of detail and paint. But but the Spider Man itself just knock it out of the park. Okay. Um Cool, cool. And then, oh, did, is this the, this is the proto, but did you get it for yourself? Oh, uh, no. I didn't. Okay. okay because, so just... Yeah, I don't want to, you know, collect like all the scales. I, I just want to focus on the prime one right now because I already went all in with that. So, I mean, as much as I like some of the XM take on this stuff, but it just, I don't know, it's, the scale difference is too much, you know? yeah so i'm passing on this yeah okay cool cool it still looks cool i like the i mean it's supposed to be darkest batman is it in the background mm, uh yeah. it looks more like venom to me but whatever <laughs> <laughs> i don't really know the comic so yeah uh well i'm going to do a review of it today on war tang and robin king so hopefully next week by next week i'll have both of the video out uh, right on, right on, and then, um, and then this guy, Woo -wee! yeah, Woo -wee! man, this thing is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seeing it in person, Art, what, what, what else do you have to say about this little thing? Well, not much other than you know, out of breath, trying to assemble this thing. <laughs> yeah, you, you need like, you're gonna need at least two people for sure. Even two people, I mean, that's manageable. But you, you know, you, you can damage some of the pieces if if you don't. You know, you gotta be careful, man. And it's so heavy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steve asked you to send it over to him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Aiden, Aiden can't wait to get can't wait to get it in hand. And then, yeah, that war machine looks good. I, I I know a lot of people want the uh, war machine standalone, so I uh -huh. hope they actually deliver. I hope they make one because I think a lot of people will be happy. Nope. Uh, oh, they're not <laughs> yeah. okay. No, well, I don't I don't think so. Otherwise, they would have made that Iron Man by itself a long time ago. Yeah. So, uh, Marcos, from the pictures that you sent. Um, those were pictures of the shop or were they actually your own collection yourself? Well, was, I'm in a unique situation, right? Everything's uh -huh. kind of mine until I sell it. So <laughs> when you guys do these things and ask me, well, what'd you get the, in a week? I got, well, I got everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you get things in and out. So they're technically mine mm -hmm. until I, you know, until I ship them out. Those are just for the gallery stuff, so people can get ideas. There's a lot more statues in there. I just took a couple pictures. Um, yeah. There's a couple more rooms full of statues. So, and they're all clustered together, so you can see different companies and different scales. And, you know, yeah. until we build the new place, this is what you get. But when people walk in, you know, so that Predator, yeah, that's the one I took off. It's not, it's, it's not online, or that bus might be sold out online, uh, stuff like that. So, it's okay, it's okay. a unique situation, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. But that actually brings us into a good segue. So let's 
We're going to move on from pickups. We're going to run into the actual guest segment interview. So real quick, before we jump into the guest interview, a uh, question for Art. Art, Steve wants to know, are the two-tone colors on the War Machine underwhelming, or is there more depth to it? Well, in person, actually, it doesn't look as flat as in the photos. But still, this is what I'm going to say in the review anyways, because uh, I think the gunmetal paint should have been you know, darker than what it is. So it will bring out more silver. But I mean, there's a lot of different kind of colors in it if you're looking at like up close. So in a photo, it would look really flat. Like people would say, oh, it all in the same tone and all that, but really it's not. And the light up function actually helps. Okay, okay, cool. If that cool. helps, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hey, Art, right is on. That a, is it an AC adapter or are they batteries? They're batteries. <laughs> and And, Actually, the batteries for this guy is actually uh, easier to get to than the Hulkbuster. You know, some of the part for Hulkbuster, you actually have to unscrew mm. it out and put it in. And this one is not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right on, right on. Awesome. All right. Uh, I hope that answers the question. So let's get into uh, the... The the guest interview for for Marco. So Marcos, I I haven't been. We've been talking a little while. Um, I know I got uh, hex collectible Sasuke from you. Um, mm -hmm. and that was really the first piece I got from you. But I think, I I think as as far as like a a a, a, distri a retailer distributor, I, I don't know how many people know a lot about you or how many people don't know a lot about you. But I guess my first question for you would be, you know, are you more of a uh are you a collector yourself in that you there are certain things that you like and you do keep extra copies or are you more of a this is this is my you know this is my business and i move all this stuff so what 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 is it uh, and how did you get into all of this okay so let, let me go with the first question because that's complicated right it's okay. it's hard for me to get rid of these stuff when i have it yeah i, I am a collector i do love it i, I just don't sell everything uh, just to make money it's not there's love behind it um but <laughs> at the same time like go back to that unique situation like i get to unbox everything i get to get everything i get to see it i get to put it out there and a big one of the secrets of our gallery and anything we have online and anything we sell to people is i don't sell shit. there are certain pieces that i will not sell because i think they're too expensive or you just uh, a good example is um, there was a Last of Us statue. Um, it was a vinyl piece, and it was it, it, they came with both of them, and it was like retail for four hundred dollars, but it was vinyl, and I was like, I don't understand this, so I reduced the price, and I never got it. Or there's a new Regal Robot piece, the the new Max Rebo piece from uh, Regal Robot. They they want four hundred dollars, and it's this big. And it's like. Mm. I don't, I'm not going to sell it. it just it just because of that. So there is some passion behind what I do. And everything I sell, I do love it. Now, do I keep extra pieces? I guess the pieces that I love are the ones that I would kind of display. So I display them, my collections in the gallery. So I'm unique. I have a physical place to put stuff. I can see where, like, art Art's background there looks really cool. You know, he's, he's got this, looks, I don't know if it's a gallery, that's your bedroom, or I don't know what that is. That's beautiful. That's how it kind of is. They're just cl clustered in there. And eventually when I have enough pieces and I'm okay with letting it go, I'll let it go to somebody. So it's kind of in the middle. See what I'm saying? Like I do collect, I love it. I sell it, but I need to sell it. I can't keep on, I can't right. hold on to something for too long. I have to just eventually let it go um and somebody else will enjoy it so that that actually brings a it brings up a really interesting point so uh we, we we'll get to the new building that's being constructed in a minute but existing right now it, do you do you do you have a store in colorado somewhere is it uh you have a store michigan or wherever it is I'm, yeah where, michigan is it i'm sorry i, I don't remember 
Right, um, yeah, it's we're based out of Michigan. It's a little town in Michigan, but see all those pictures you're seeing, that's the store. That's the gallery. So from the outside, people wander in. We just wanted to do something different. Like, you know, there's a lot of places in Asia and some maybe some places in Europe that you can walk into stores and see a certain brand, the XM store or a Prime One store or something like that. You can get to see it. Um, we're unique in the U.S. that you can walk in and you get to see anything licensed we can get. You know, right there, you see there's an Iron Studio piece with a sideshow piece with a couple, you know, I mean, Mythos and I have Regal Robot pieces and I have Prime One pieces. Um, you can walk in and say, oh, I saw that online. So people from, so it's a, it's a little unique place. So when you walk in the store from the outside, you think it's a regular comic book store. It's like, oh, here we go, another little comic book shop. You walk in and I can't tell you how many times somebody goes, holy shit, you know, this is right. just the first room. There's, there's other rooms too. That you go in the back and I have pure arts pieces and I have, you know, there's just pieces everywhere. Um, so we do have, this is our physical gallery here, which also works as a shipping place, a receiving place, um, and just storage as well, too. So do you have like a warehouse in the background, in the back of the store? Or yeah, something? there's somewhere in the back. There. There's a bunch of boxes. I'm always surrounded by stuff. I mean, it's, I, it's, it's filled. It really is. The people who yeah. had the, who, who are, you know, the local guys or people who come visit, they understand you walk in there's so much to see. Um, and it changes a lot too. Like, uh, you know, I'll, I had, I had uh, up there, I had the Batman on the gargoyle. He's gone. And then I'll bring him. Now I have the new Catwoman premium format up there. That changed since I took that picture from the day ago. So now I got that, you know, they'll change whatever statue comes in, it changes and comes out. So, yeah. So it's a good right. place to just come in and see it. Yeah. You get to see it and you notice nothing's behind the glass. You get to sometimes, you know, I'll talk to people one-on-one -on -one and say, okay, well, you pick it up, I'll kick your ass, but you can kind of touch it a little bit. You know, you can go ahead, see what you get. You know, that's what resin feels like. This is what this feels like. And they appreciate it. So, yeah. So well, how what, long have you, oh, so go ahead, Art, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I just want to ask uh, if somebody came in and, you know, to you, to, to the shop and then they just happened to knock something over and broke it. So they're going to pay for it too. Right. Um, what are you going to do? You know, hold him down and kick his ass. I mean, what are you, I mean, what are you, gonna do? <laughs> you it break it, you happened. buy it. <laughs> I know I, I, hopefully they're, you know, respectful enough to do that. I've never had that situation. Knock on wood, you know, it, it's going to happen eventually. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully not, but you know, it, it might happen here and there. I remember there was a kid that ran in and yeah, there was a kid that ran yeah, in yeah, and he yeah. got impaled. I have the elite up battle angel statue from prime one. <laughs> That sword okay. is pure metal. It, it went right into his shoulder. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it went to the soldier, and, and then he's like, ow. And I came up to him, and I go, "This, don't be running my fucking shop. <laughs> so I, I him <laughs> off. I'm like, Dad, clean the blood <laughs> off this kid, because I'm not nah, – now you can leave now. I can, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. But but so far, you know, no one has touched anything and, and stuff like that. <laughs> That's even crazier than breaking a statue, bro. I never. I know you got stabbed. I mean, I go. It's real mad. <laughs> don't run into stores, man. Don't run into stores. Yeah, actually, I don't. I don't allow kids in my gallery ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the new the new place I'm building. There's going to be certain restrictions and rules and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. The problem with my new place is I started off. It's very low traffic on on walking traffic, but it's a tourist town, and sometimes. People just walk in. Be, there's people that walk in and will tell me to my face, what are you, a fucking nerd? What, why are you selling this shit? Why, why are you selling this? I'm like, and then I, here I come going, well, why are you in here? You know, <laughs> what are you in here for? Why'd you walk in? Oh, I don't know. You're open. Well, fuck you then. So, <laughs> no, this, I mean, that's what happens. This is I mean, my I kind of guy. Go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I go back and forth with yeah. these assholes. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm a nerd. Fuck yeah, I'm here. a nerd. Go fuck yourself. End yeah. of story. Yeah, yeah, thanks so, for coming. You gonna buy something or not? I'm not get, don't waste no, my fucking I'll time. I'll tell people exactly. get the hell out. Like, yeah, those yeah. people will come in, man. They're just entitled, man. They're just entitled people, and that's why I want to move the new place I moved to. Will have it's, it's going to be no sidewalks. You're there for a reason. You're there for a reason. It's designed that way too. So, so tell, yeah. tell me, uh, how long have you had the store, uh, the existing store? How long have you been like up and running and all that? And how did you? <laughs> How did you even get into the whole? How do we start? Business? I mean, um, that's a long story. When it, I used to, 
I was a high, it was a side hustle, just like everybody else, really a side hustle. And then um, I invested on my first company I got into was Funko, really. Funko was my first one. I, I did something online that was digital and it worked. I mean, I made a shit ton of money while I was working uh, my, my regular job. And then I reinvested it into Funko. I heard about Funko back in 2016 or something like that. Then I got into NECA, then I got into Mesco, and then I go, I'm, I'm making so much money online, but I don't want to. I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to be a comic book shop. I don't want to. I don't want to sell comics. I don't want to sell action figures. I don't want Marvel Legends. I don't want any of that shit. Everybody sells that shit. Um, so then I, I always, I knew I always wanted a hot toy. I always wanted to get into sideshow, but sideshow's requirements are very high. Okay, but I busted my ass, and then at the end of 2018. I convinced two or three of my buddies to follow me into this madness. I go, dude, trust me, we got this. And so they go, yeah, okay, whatever. So I, like, they, they go, sure. And then I opened up this physical place and then I applied for Sideshow. And then they told me, well, you need four references and this, and I need your le light, uh, leasing contracts. I want this, this. We did everything and we got in with them. Once we got in with them, then we slowly started getting a rep in the community, right? So community in our, in our hobby is so important, right? Super, super important. Um, getting to know, like, I've shit, I've talked to Mark a couple of times. Yeah. I've talked to Eddie a couple. I mean, I've, I, I've, you get to know all these people, everybody. So then the rep continues to grow and it's just a snowball effect. All of a sudden, Iron Studio, I get an, an authorized dealership with Iron Studio. Then I can do Prime One and then I can do XM, the, the state size pieces, right? Like, I can't do the worldwide ones, but XM. And then you get into Pure Arts and then you get into 3 Zero and Cotabakia and all of a sudden you're getting big, big, bigger, bigger. And then people even there's even a rep you get within the companies, you know, oh, collector zone. They never cancel shit. They buy, they sell a lot of crap. I don't know how, but they do it. Okay. Well, they, they give you more and then they give you more and then you get more rep. You know, my sideshow account is really high tier. So and my own studio is high tier. So now it's like I get bombarded with stuff all the time. And then I get my membership stuff, right? That's where the cantina kicks in and you guys. And so, sorry, I'm going in circles here. No, yeah, no, 2018 no. 2018 and 2018. Then you need a physical shot. Without a physical location, you can't do any of this. That's basically it. There's no point. You can't sell it online. Then you're just like somebody else. It's a nightmare. You will never make it. If you just yeah. don't, if you don't follow the rules, you won't make it. You'll always be a, a guy who's just selling you stuff from their basement. Which is not bad. It's just a hustle, and you won't move up, though. So, so that's how you, we did it. What What were you before uh, the side hustle became your full time thing? I worked for the state. I did I did law oh, enforcement okay. for about ten years. Oh wow! And, yeah, ten years law enforcement, and I did ten years investigative job in Michigan. So I worked for the state for twenty years. Okay. So, Never yeah, expected. a real government job. <laughs> Would right. not have expected that coming from you. That's pretty funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, but, but I love collecting. I always did. I always collected. You know, I, I always I love it. I'm, I'm, what, I'm um, love it. what personally would, are your lines that you you collect uh, that you go for in your own private? Do you have stuff at home? Do you display stuff at the house, or no, is it I just don't have you, to. But you? Right, right, because you've right? got the store. Right, but because then I got the store, and it and it satisfies the itch, right? That right, itch right, you right. want. Like, damn, I need it. I want to put this shit in my house. You know, first my wife will look at me and like get, get the shit out of here. Right? <laughs> but right. but I had the store and I'm like, oh right, fuck that. I got 350 statues somewhere, you know, where it's at. Right. And I'll have more. Right. No, yeah. Yeah. So it's in the store. I don't have anything. So the line I love the most, I don't know. I mean I'm always a Star Wars kid, I guess. I don't know. Whatever I grew up with, Star Wars probably is like but it's but I don't love something more than anything else. I mean, I think I love everything. I'm not like Hey, DC sucks. Marvel sucks. I love it all. There's something to be loved by just everything. I just love it. So, are you a scale person? Like, uh, for your own personal collection, do you do you care about scale or do you lean towards, like, hmm. um, like a bunch of us? We are, we are, um, you know, we are now uh, moving towards just the bigger stuff. Like, I know I'm moving to the bigger stuff. Right. So, for you personally, what what is it that um, what do you go for? That's, that's that's the trend, right? Yeah, bigger is better, right? You just don't downgrade. Bigger, 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 bigger. Um, I think I lean more into the Iron Studio 110 scale. Oh, really cool. Because with the whole world, I mean, 
big complaints is like shipping costs and these costs and this and quality. You pick up one of those pieces, they have, they're really good quality. They're really good quality for the scale they have. Um, and uh, sometimes they blow it, okay? Like the new General Grievous one, I was like, mm, you, could, you could have done better. Um, but it's still, it's still a great statue and you can display 10 times as many as those and quarter scales or one, three scales. So, I mean, I, I really like those iron studio pieces. So if I would, if I had my personal collection in, in a room, like in my house, it'd be all one ten scale iron studio pieces. They're just that good. They're, they are good. Okay. Right on, right on. I think you're the first person that's actually um, answered that question with one ten iron scale. Iron <laughs> studio. Yeah. So, Hey, that's the whole point. I mean, it, I mean, when I said, you know, I'm personally going there, that's just me. You know, I mm -hmm. just, everybody's going to like what they like. And there's no, you know, you like what you like. That's the whole point of this. That's the whole point of all of this is, you know, we, we do these things. We talk about these things. We enable each other. But at the end of the day, you like, you like what you like. And there's nothing wrong. I mean, like me, I love the boobies on the statues. Hey, you know, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I'm that kind of a guy, you know, I like, uh, I like them boobies. So. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, well, let's uh, do a quick uh, segue and pivot. So I guess the good, sounds like the good news is things are moving in the right direction for you, uh, which uh, I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. And also very happy for, uh, for, for, every, for us because you're mm -hmm. giving back to the community. Um, here is the code again, guys. 17% uh, off, July 1 to 5. Mm -hmm. Go get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh, you have to watch the replay. We're going we're gonna to show it again, again a, a bunch more times. But um, let's take a pivot and let's move on to the new building. So you have nice. sent some uh, renders for this place looks gorgeous just based on looking at the cat drawings. Um, yeah, looks good. The, the render. Yeah, like this is very nice, just nice thought out, like 360. You can kind of right. see everything. Right. Um so talk to us about, I guess, has the business grown to the point where you're able to expand or talk us through, and also the design of this place, like what, what influenced your, your ideas in doing the architectural for this? Yeah, so I don't play poker. Like I don't, if you play poker with me, I'm going to tell you your face, I have a great hand or I don't. I just, <laughs> I'm just terrible at it. I'm not, I don't lie. So this, that's the same reason I opened up in 2018 is I knew my numbers. Like I knew I had enough money, even if no one walked into my store, I, I know I still made enough money online to not give a shit, but I qualify for everything else. So this, this building is, I know I can build it because I have the clientele. Like that's how we've grown to that point that we need it. Okay. And then at the same time, I want to do something different. Um, uh, we focus on like high end collectibles, period. Not just, it's not money. It's about, in the end, it's always money, right? But it's the, the fundamentals of it is the artwork of it, the appreciation of it, the high, something that no one else really sells. Like everything around here, I don't know if you guys, art might not know about the US much, but if you guys go around, there's a lot of like comic book stores. And then you go into these stores or these vintage stores, and it's always like, um, vintage toys or balloons or spinners or comic books. You only get maybe to see two or three statues. There's no statue place uh, in the U.S. that says, you know, there's not many that you walk in and you say, wow, there's a thousand statues. And then you have my ass that I walk in and say, I know everything about these. I know what that's made out of. I know what Polystone. I know who Daniel Bell is. I know who Randy Bowen is. I know who this, who this, who this. I know all the YouTubers. I know every. Who do you need? What do you need? So it's a statue. It's a place to go, and you, it's, a, it's expert to the hobby. So the gallery you're seeing there is an open concept, right? So, so if you walk into the doors, you, you're going to see. So there are certain, there's about five or six companies that are waiting for us to, to build this. And once I build it, they're going to clean their, their spots, and then they're going to build their displays, okay? Statue companies, okay? So we're trying to make this a flagship store for the Midwest. So when you go, you know exactly where you're coming. Go see, oh, we're going to Collector Zone. We're going to the building. We're going to go see the new PCS or the new Iron Studio prototypes. Boom, it's in there. So when you walk in, 
it's going to be open concept and then to your left is going to be a ramp that goes up section one section two section three four five and there's going to be an, a little event center up top so when i do get we do sell to a lot of like celebrities and like maybe you you know even youtubers will have a little spot to go in there and say boom i'm live from here this is what i'm doing come see me you guys you know i'm i'm very appreciative with youtubers because you guys bust your asses it is not easy you got to edit video spend your own money spend your own time it's a lot of so i do appreciate youtubers and content and it, and it, and it helps the hobby Sometimes it hurts it, but sometimes it does. Most of the time it doesn't, right? So that's what this concept of this building is. So it's funky. I didn't want it to be a square. I wanted it to be something else. So that's that's that. If I didn't answer the whole question, just let me know. Okay. No, um, how many square foot is this, man? I think it's about 4,000 square feet. Nice. So it's 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 looks it's smaller than what it looks. I mean, it's it's good and it's way bigger than what mine is now. So <laughs> yeah. Well, right. I, I like the design, man. Like the circular design that you, you know, separate each level. Mm -hmm. That's great, man. It's kind of like um, some type of gallery that yeah. you've seen before. Like, yeah. Yeah, like an art gallery. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. we try to do. We try to do so it that way. It's going to be two floors? It's kind of two floors, right? See, you can, in this picture here, you can see how the ramp goes up. Yeah, it's left. like a it, it's concentric yeah, yeah. and going upwards. It's always constantly right. going. It's a beautiful concept. Yeah, a really good right. idea. It'll do that, and you can tell by the stairs. It's not it's not an incredibly huge building, which you don't need a huge building. You want and right. and what you're missing here is there's a circular desk in the in the in the middle, uh -huh. where I'll be. You know, and as soon as somebody walks in, hey, what's up, Marcos? Hey, what's up? Let's. I am here for Iris. Okay, let's do it. So and then, um, they're. they're there's already spots claimed on the the bottom level for certain companies. They want to make the entire display. They will come in with their guys and they will build their own display areas. Cool. And then they're gonna we'll, we'll work one on one uh, for events and stuff like that. Like uh, if there's a prototype, maybe PCS is coming out with. Um, you know, I talked to Arthur already. Uh, he's like, "Yep, get it done, and I'll send you a prototype." right after production so it's there let's say ghost rider one six scale right let's just let's just throw that one out there i'll have it there so you can see it in person and if you want it, you can order it from right there so you get to feel it see it it won't be behind glass it's not something you got to be like looking through a glare glass it's right there and that's that's kind of stuff we'll be we'll be doing so uh how tall is the ceiling i think it's like 18 feet is is big enough yeah and it's open too, so the vents and everything is very industrial. Yeah, awesome. That's, that's how it's going to be. Yeah. So the roof well, is the roof is what is going to be like skylight glass or? No, it's just no. gonna it's it that's going to be like metal. Okay. The metal just kind of on top of those beams. There's going to be a skylight in the middle. Okay. Um, yeah, stuff like that. I don't want too many windows. You don't want too many windows. Really right, don't. right. Of course, of course. <laughs> right. Right. You don't want to. I have. The, I told them put the windows real high. They're like, well, you need windows. Well, do I? <laughs> They're like, yeah, you need windows. <laughs> it's like there's there's rules. I'm like, okay, I'll put the windows Fire on top. And, right, right. and I tend, yeah, I tend them to like 98 percent like UV, and that's going to be control air controlled. I mean, it's not, you know, you're you got to do that. If not, you're going to kill the statues inside, right? Oh, how, you know? how long has this project been in production? It's going to be a year now. So it took okay. a year. I'm I'm in the process of bidding. So now the contractors are looking at it. They've completed, this is just a small, but we finally completed the entire, um, the licensing permits, all that stuff, all that red tape, the bullshit you gotta go through. And I still gotta go through more bullshit because if I don't text them, they're like, oh, we'll get back to you. No, 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 it's been three weeks. What's up? That's just the way it works. So hopefully we'll start bidding and then a contractor can tell me, this is how much it's gonna cost you. And then I can put a date on it. Yeah. Okay, so we're, so we're so we're it it's okay. So it's still going to be a little bit a little bit away before uh, it's built and and moved over and everything. Did you have storage space for like warehouse space for this yeah. attached or? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's this there. Is showroom you just can't see it. Yeah, that front panel, right below where your hand is. Well, no, the little mouse go to the right a little bit. That whole uh -huh. area, yeah, that is storage. Okay. It's a two-story storage thing, yeah. 
Okay, so basically you're incoming and receiving and then ship right out, right back out. Okay. Yep. Yeah. When do you hope to be um, in business with this place? Like grand opening and shit. If like, you know. Shit. So supposedly, so the roof and the walls and all that shit, that's already pre-cut. It's, it's like, it's like Lego. I mean, it's, it's, they'll deliver it to you and then you get guys to plug it in. Everything else is drywall and it's getting materials. I mean, I would say, you know, to be realistic next year, yeah. hopefully next year, it's not going to be two years from now. Absolutely not. Right. But I wanted it to start maybe this year, but to say that's going to be built this year. Nah, fuck that. Nah, I doubt it. Right, I doubt right, it. It's right. just the world's on fire, man. And it's just yeah. the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this is this is an attempt to do something completely different, right? In, in the US. Because I know Asia has in beautiful, you know, just beautiful well, studios you can go to. Well, you know? not like this, man. <laughs> this well, is the yeah, first. I know, they're little mall shops. I've seen I've seen well, them, you know, I've been watching it. Well, yeah. the mall shop, I mean, it's nice, but it, it's definitely not a standalone building like this. I think yeah. this is like awesome, dude. Yeah, For and this real. will have uh, more companies than just one, right? Right. It's not right. just XM. It's not just Prime yeah. One. It'll have everything. Yeah, you know, I'm one of the only um, US for all the licensed Queen Studio stuff. You know, they they granted me that ability to sell Queen okay. Studio in the US. Not all of them. Don't get uh -huh. don't get excited, people. Just <laughs> maybe you know whatever they can uh, approve in the US. But sometimes they throw me some bones. You know, I I got some of the Venom bus and I sold out. You know. How the hell did I get the Venom bus? Well, it, it happens. It's going to happen in prom. You know, Queen is a very, it's, they've been around, but they haven't. This is their right. first taste of go, let's go out there and kick some ass. But they're, they're, they're going to, they're going to learn the, the, go through the pain and the suffering and then they'll learn to do better and better and better. So, so this is like a cross section in this picture. You're walking up here. So I guess the display space will be along the edge of where you walk, right? This is yeah. That, that's that's one section of the ramp. That's like section five. Okay. So though, yeah, those those uh, display areas are so small because that would be one ten scale, one six scale, maybe Funko. Funko is really big in the U.S. still, and we we take Funko as a starting statue. It's a vinyl piece. It's a vinyl statue. You can't do nothing else with it. So a lot of kids come in and they do the Funko or the Diamond Select. The, P, the PVC pieces, right? They start with that, and they'll come to me, and, and Dad's like, "Hey, I want to buy a statue to my kid." I'm like, "Well, don't buy him that shit because if he breaks it, you're gonna break his fucking legs." But you can, you can get him the Diamond Select stuff because he can drop that shit, and you'll be okay with it. He's 16, 17, 14, 13, and we get him into it. But you, you can, I will not bullshit you. In 2018, the kid will come in with Funko Pops. 2022, 2021, he'll come and say, I'm ready for my first Iron Studio piece. I'm ready for my first premium format piece. They come back and they learn. They learn the process of taking care of a statue or or appreciating it. Right, right. Uh, Mark, you got anything to add? I just, I just think it's very cool. This is like, uh, at least here in the States, this is like a very underutilized aspect of the hobby that it's very cool to see you creating because as collectors we have a lot of chats a lot of buddies that are into collecting these youtube uh streams and we want to get together and hang out but it's yeah. usually like hey man well new york comic con's coming in the fall so it's usually a con where uh, collectors will gather and hang out and you know don't get me wrong that they want to go see the statues but it's more of like finally getting to hang out with your buddies you know what i mean so this this place that you're building i just think it's really cool and plus i'm in ohio so i i can just oh, drive yeah, right yeah. up man yeah yeah but in just having this option available here in the u.s and the fact that you said other companies have already signed on to do like their own like sections in the store and want to like be heavily involved i just think it's really cool man what you're doing yeah another concept to it is that you know mark you're part of the cantina right uh, yeah you're in there yeah. for sure yeah, yeah. so the, we have a 4300 people in there and it continues to grow uh every day but it's not just it's not about the quantity right it's the quality of people in there that's that's my whole thing i i've said this before and i think i've told a couple of people like i always wanted to be you know 
you're gonna hear something you're gonna be like what the hell is he talking about but let me get to it okay i like i'm like i like to be like um nick fury okay i like to be like nick fury okay then okay listen to me okay <laughs> i like to associate myself with people with positive energy and the best in our hobby bon what the hell, man? That was Japanese Nick Fury. <laughs> that was that such was a shit. wrong timing, bro. That was Japanese what Nick Fury you know? laying the smack down. <laughs> no, don't That's get it. Not funny. No, no, I, I got funny. Hang on, hang on. I got funny. I got funny. I got funny. I got funny. Oh, I it's too late it. now, bro. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. Okay. No, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your thought. I love the random continue. clips. Con continue. Oh, oh, what are we doing? I should continue. I don't know. I got cut no, off. No, I you please, please. I, I like <laughs> fucking with people. Uh, you know. <laughs> you need you need to go download some more new ones, man. I That's know, great. I know, you're right. I do need to make new ones. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know it takes time, all right? It takes time to make this shit, all right? But yes, just please uh, continue your train of thought before I so rudely interrupted you. I don't even know. I just saw a dinosaur humping in the <laughs> dino box. Oh, okay, so Edwin says I got to put on the big titties. Um, let me see if I got. <laughs> uh, but you was you were saying that you you know you want to deal with the best in the business well you know, yeah well, that's yeah. what we do oh yeah. there's one right there junior so everybody in this chat so i'm, I'm looking at my phone i'm trying to say hi to everybody i basically i know 80 percent of the chat i know these guys i know i, I know these and i talk to them because and then what happens is like i was saying i'm like nick fury's like daniel bell and i we talk all the time martin canal we talk Randy Bowen is part of the group, you know, with these guys that I know for, for a while. And what happens is they, they're all, you know, when these event, when this building goes up and Daniel Bell is like, Hey, I'm going to be in Chicago or something. You want to do a meet? Yes. Come to the building and we'll shoot it out. There's whoever wants to meet Daniel Bell, come meet Daniel Bell, but we'll shoot the shit. It's not more like, Hey, you know, buy your ticket. It's going to cost you $5 now. We, and we don't do that shit. Or some kind of celebrity or somebody who wants to do a signing or something. That's so Mark got, got the right idea. You come from Ohio, you come from Midwest, you come in, we all hang out there, we all may, maybe meet there. There's breweries around, there's you know what I'm saying? You can just go hang out and talk. We'll just talk stupid nerd shit and have a good time. That's that's the point. Or like I know I was talking to Queen, of course everybody talks to Johnny, but Johnny's like, hey, maybe we can do an event there, you know get two, three or four of these silicone pieces, put it in there. That's an idea, you know, that we, I'd be like, yeah, why not? That's perfect. <laughs> I mean, actually, that's, that's excellent. So you can see it, come see it and meet whoever queen representative is there and go. Yeah. So we'll do stuff you, like you that. You said you're located in Chicago. No, we're close to Chicago. So right now, so I live in a little town, I live in a little County. It goes by counties here in Michigan. So it's Berrien County. It's yeah. we're right on the lake. And it's about an hour and change from Chicago. It's this corridor that you go right into Michigan. So yeah, anybody comes to the C2E2 or in Chicago, you know, something that goes flies into there, it's a drive away to get here. You know, you get you get here, you kind of meet there, and yeah. So you can go to Chicago, you can go to Indianapolis, you can go to Cleveland, you can go. We're right in the middle there, Detroit, stuff like that. So it's a Midwest spot. So for the U.S., the Midwest is pretty important. Mm -hmm. That's really cool, man. I know a lot of collectors would be piling in with their statues. Like if you had like a sculptor, you know, yeah. sculptors don't get enough shine a lot of times in this hobby, you right. know, and we'd be bringing our pieces in and like, hey, man, can you sign this? You know, Daniel Bell, Martin, all those guys. Yep. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, got some other guys in there. And, and yeah, so that's what I was saying. Back to the Nick Fury shit. OK. I like to associate myself with the Avengers, okay, of our hobby. So when I do need something or you do need, like, a, you know, collector needs something, just a phone call away to Captain America here or Iron Man or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can associate myself. Yeah. And I just don't do that because who they are. If you're an asshole, you'll never hear from me. You're an asshole straight up. But if you're good and you're good for the hobby and good human being all in general, you're just a good human being, 
we're down and I'll help you. And that's why I'm, we're doing, when I keep telling you that, oh, this is not really my event. This is our event. I'm on this show because I think, you know, Chasen and Eddie, I know these guys. Yeah, I know everybody here. Art, I just met you. Mark, I've talked to good people. So I'll help. I always do charities. We always do. But there's another thing we do. We do charities, donation stuff. We do stuff for children. It's just one of our core things that we have to just be positive, man. This is a, a getaway from all the bullshit there is going around, you know. That's my opinion. I don't have to be right. I'm just just my opinion. What um what stuff do you do? The children charity stuff. What um what do you usually do for those? We do a lot of uh so we do some for a lot of times the hospitals, like kids with cancer and stuff that are stuck in hospitals. We do that pops for patient stuff. Uh, I'll get boxes of like, so members will donate like sometimes money or sometimes they mail me boxes of pops or Funko stuff. And we get these uh, 150, 300 pops or so. And then people from Chicago come pick it up and they take them to children's hospitals. And then they open them up and they just, man, those kids love it. I mean, they're stuck in these beds and stuff and getting their chemo and stuff. And all of a sudden they got a box of 10 pops. They don't give a shit what it is. They just want to open it and have fun and just pretend to be a kid again. So we do that. We do local ones. Like there was a kid here who had cancer too. He lost his leg. I mean, just the whole family has, you know, fundraisers and stuff. We did that. We do toys for tots. That's something we do in the States to where they, they collect toys for kids during Christmas. We fill up those boxes and uh, it's, man, the cantina members are, they're just superstars, man, superstars. They'll give money and they'll donate stuff and they don't have to. And they do it over and over and over again because we run five or six charities a year and more of them, really. But I don't just ask for money either. I, that's where the codes kick in, right? <laughs> you give me something, I'll give you like a 17% off code off a prime one statue is criminal. Yeah. It's a criminal. It's a criminal act. <laughs> It's crazy. And and is valid for five days this week. Yeah, people. It's, it's stupid. I know it's stupid, but there's reasons we can do it, and there's a reason it's seventeen. It's, it's, it's the lowest I can go without getting in trouble, really. But uh, but we do that. Fifteen percent off codes here. This so I you know it's a, it's a trade off. Everybody wins. You get your statue. Um, you know I get a sale. The kid gets something awesome. Done deal. That's that's the way so, we do it. So. So, so maybe you you may not want to give away your your secrets of the trade here, but how are you able to do those seventeen percent off codes? Sounds a little bit like I'm doing the math. I'm like, all right, all right. I I didn't think you would answer that question, but I thought no harm asking. Well, let's just say this way, okay? Um, if you do things the hard way and the right way, like you get your authorizations, your licensing. Like there are people in are are our community, which are awesome. Okay. Um, I'm not going to name names. You already know who I'm talking about. Like when it comes to like getting stuff in the States that you really can't get, um, stuff like that, you know, I can't get an XM piece, but you can go to this guy or this guy. Those guys are awesome. I, that's their hustle. That's what they do. I don't down anybody, but a lot of, a lot of people in our hobby also are just guys doing that, or they don't have what I like. I have a physical location. I actually have, one and a half physical locations. I have another. I have another affiliate pot, spot in Kentucky too. Oh. So we do certain things that allow us to do this. So, but it's it's really hard to get there. You have to earn your keep. You have to earn it. You have to like pay your fucking taxes, and you have to pay all the fees, and you have to pay. Like I always look at it as the mafia. Okay, I love sideshow and I love other kind. Whatever sideshow, whatever. But sideshow is like the mafia, right? You go up to the Godfather and says, "I want to do A, B, and C," and they look at you like, "You're fucking crazy!" But you need to give me this, this, and this. Oh, you want to you want to sell crack on my street? Well, this is what you need to give me as a cut. You got it. So you give them the cut. You get these authorizations that you know what. You get things a little cheaper. You get things here. You get things over here, and you get things. Uh, you know, it, things are handed to you to succeed when you give the mafia their cut. Let's just say it that way. It just comes yep. down to Got everybody. It. Everybody gets their cut, man. Everybody gets everybody their cut. Gets so basically, what you're saying is, I gotta go buy some more people, some hookers, and blow. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta grease. Come on, man! Grease. You already do that on a regular basis. Yeah. Well, Correct. hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> art, art here be like spilling all like my dirty, dastardly secrets, man. What, 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 what was? The
Like, you smell so hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I play a movie clip and I don't remember shit. I had a train of thought. It was kind of important. I was going to ask a question. <laughs> Fucking. Um, all right, I'm sure we'll get there. Uh, uh, oh, so. I mean, with this, I, I love this space, man. I, I love the architectural design. Um, did you come up with the design, like this hexagonal thing or. Like, was this your idea, or did you have somebody do it for you, or like people who send you drafts and stuff, and then you picked and choose, or, or I mean, or or does the circular thing always been in your mind, or what? Um, this is all my idea. Not even, not even close, bro. Not no. even close. <laughs> not even close. I'm, I'm not gonna take credit for shit. No. Um, there's a whole architectural. I, I, I. So let's go back to doing it the hard way. And then doing it, everybody gets their cut, right? So this is a um, <laughs> fuckers and blow taker that you made, right? Thank she you, is April. not especially wrong. From April, right? Especially for April. She is um, not so, wrong. I gotta say. <laughs> so no, we hired an architect team. You pay, you pay fucking a shit ton of money before you even built this thing. Oh yeah, it's like what? You pay thousands upon thousands of dollars. For them to do this but when they do present it to like the township and the township goes well you should hire my stepbrother to oh, do God. the sewers uh, thing. No. Oh, really? so, so more uh, sisters and bro is what you're saying here right. oh your stepbrother of course blah, 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 yeah. blah. so what happens is everything's in a nice little package and when you look at it they go approved instead of going well you need this this and this 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 keep going okay yeah but it, it still takes a year though so this this architect team did are doing a fantastic job. They called me over and over and over again. We went through certain things, and they designed they designed design this. They go, well, you know, your statues. They don't know shit about statues. They, they call them dolls at first. I was getting pissed. So I was like, <laughs> oh, it's a D word. They're dolls, you know. It has this 360 thing going on. So this building <laughs> should have a 360 thing for your dolls. I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, cool. yeah, dolls. Like, I'm kick your ass, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, please don't call them dolls. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, right, yeah. Right. So they did yeah. the 360 thing. And uh, what you don't see here is the building is on, um, there's a one-way in driveway and a one-way out around the building it, oh, it, so okay. you have to start for one point do a 360 to get out of the whole building mm -hmm. so the outside is this metal frame too as well and they'll have these little lights and stuff too and yeah it'll be hopefully it comes out okay it might come out shit who knows i mean <laughs> until i until i see it in front of me i can't can't fan them what it's going to be but i think it'll, it'll be the idea is still nice though i think it's smart man it's like ikea they make you walk through the entire building to get out of the building they want to make right. you buy something right. um so if you had to like play let's grease the wheels with everybody's hookers on the township do you have to hire yeah. whoever they're gonna be for your builder we did they were like yeah. you need to hire my sister's cousin to build this shit for you well yeah you know he goes yeah you need surveying for the land so i recommend billy my my stepbrother he's great but there's like 10 other guys that can, you know, hire. Uh, you know, I'll go with Billy. I'll, right. I'll go with Billy. Let's go with Billy. It happens everywhere, so don't, <laughs> don't yeah, I know. get away. I mean, it's going to happen everywhere. I know. I know. It's going to happen. So. But I mean, it's, it's, it's done. That part's done. All that's done. Paid off, done. So okay. I'm just waiting for their asses to bid. I mean, that's what I'm waiting for. All right. So bid, quotes, approval, and then actual construction. That's it. And then money, right? That's it. Did they give you a time frame for how long construction will take? They won't until you bid, right? So the bid is like the the contractor goes, hey, I'll do it for $500,000. How long is it going to take you? Eh, six months. Then I have a date. Then I present a date. And do you already have like all your various uh, company and distributors line up for carving out their section? Is there any spots I have left? Uh, about, I have, yeah, three or four of them now, but we'll have open space for others just in case. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 you, you're missing a lot in that that area there. There's 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 structures in there you don't see. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, this is probably early drafting. All right. Right on. Right on. Uh, la 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 la. Hang on. Uh, I got to figure out these buttons again. 
<laughs> uh, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, what's that? Okay. okay. All right. So uh, before we move on from the interview section, we can move on to the... So you see, the thing is, um, every time we do these shows, you know, I used to, when we first started, I had like a whole idea. I had like a structure of how I do things. But then we were always just talk and talk and talk with the guests because I, I enjoyed the interview. I, I, I enjoyed the interview a lot more than I give a shit about the weekly new drops and things like that. So I always try my best. To, I always like to just talk to the guests and, you know, and I kind of just ignore the whole statue thing at the end of the day. But uh, I think this week we should at least make an attempt because <laughs> I never I agree too much shit. about me. Fuck that. Let's go into the statues.